you are what driving. Is, what, what, What's happened? You are driving? Hey, Checker is driving. Oh my god. I swear I didn't steal that car. I have some news about Ian. Ian is still stuck in Brest because there's storm after storm after storm in the area. And me and Erica, we have been dreaming for a long time to go to Serra de Estrella, which is a very nice mountainous area here in Portugal, which I didn't know about before, but apparently it can also get snow in the winter, which I thought didn't exist in Portugal. So we were really craving for nature, for being alone, for camping and hopefully being the snow and making a, sna a snowball fight. So we thought about hitchhiking there. But yeah, right now hitchhiking is such a long distance and with grandma living with Erica's grandma, which is, yeah, not a good timing right now in the pandemic. So we thought about doing it or not doing it for a long time. And then Erica gave me the best Christmas present ever, which was renting a car for me for three days. Now we have this car, we can drive up. Uh, it's a very crazy change to drive suddenly from all that hitchhiking. I guess hitchhiking rental cars it is. And we will drive up there, hopefully hike, camp, explore some beautiful places, see some snow, that's my wish. Hopefully it will be a nice trip. We made it to the absolutely incredible mountain village called Piodo. All these houses are built completely out of stone and it lays in this marvelous valley. And you can see they built many, many terraces here and all the roofs are all out of these stone plates. And then these cute little windows and you're surrounded by mountains and there's like a river and some bridges down there. And it looks like a medieval fantasy film set here. It's really, really amazing. We found this random unsuspecting chicken hole here. <laughs> it's like a hole in the wall with a fence and there's chicken inside. We found my family! <laughs> and my family apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I bet it's like for the winter really good for them to be yeah. so warm and protected. Yeah. But it's still pretty odd to see that without any outside space. Yeah. Maybe sometimes they can go outside. Right now they're living about 170 people in this village and it dates back until the 14th century.
So now we're about 1,700 meters in altitude. It's really foggy, we're inside of the clouds. You can see almost nothing. Temperatures, zero degrees. It's kind of wet on the street and it's raining a little bit. So it's really dangerous that it gets ice on the street. Our rental car sadly has some summer tires, so it's not ideal for these conditions. But we we'll just drive extremely slowly, extremely carefully. And hopefully we'll make it up. I'd get down again, that would be also crazy. Yeah. Wow. So now we're almost at the top and look at these. There's some almost five meter high snow sticks on the side of the road. And sometimes probably they have this high snow here. But it will be fine. And there are many cars coming down here. Yeah. If they start to slide on our lane. <laughs> the wind is absolutely crazy here and over there we found snow, snow in Portugal oh and snowstorm if it's possible. On a scale of 1 to 10 how frozen are you? <laughs> Some of my hair froze. Yeah. The whole side of the car is completely frozen yeah. now. My whole clothes is froze. My gloves froze. My heart froze. Oh. My eyes froze. I think my contact lens is froze too. It's so cold. Okay, so this is more of an adventure than we thought. We just figured out that there's a huge ice storm coming for the next two days here with snow and everything and you have to get out here basically uh, we talked we talked to some other people and it's just gonna get worse and maybe they're not gonna clear up the streets anymore yeah who knows so we're gonna try to do it very slowly go down some people say they put salt here on the street which would make it not frozen that that's what we're hoping for Luckily, we made it down safely and could warm ourselves in a cute mountain village cafe. We decided we always want to sleep in the rental car or in the tent. Today is just too stormy, even here in the valley it's pretty stormy. And we're gonna sleep in the rental car, which we're gonna see how cold it's gonna get tonight. We have our sleeping bags and peanut butter and peanuts and banana and we are safe. water. That's everything we need. And yeah. myself. Yeah. Ah, and I'm grateful for this car because in the tent it would be so much more uncomfortable. And in this car it's luxury compared yeah. to that. Yesterday night was kind of intense night. We were standing on a nice car while camping spot. Nice because it had like a view and it was up the hill on a small tiny road. But it was kind of on the dirt on a slope. We were afraid with all the rain that the the, the dirt would go like... Yeah, of landslides and it was starting to rain a lot and to storm a lot more than before. So in the middle of the night we decided to go here, here because it's safer no trees no big trees around and no landslide danger and now we survived the night and we already can see a waterfall from here yeah. over there it looks beautiful hopefully today we can actually see something here and explore something yeah. oh, oh, help me. <laughs> from the really beautiful mountain village of Mantegas down there we are hiking up this beautiful valley and we're coming across many ancient houses here and it looks like there's some kind of a mountain farm here and the clouds up there moving so fast i think this storm is still going on on top on the top of the mountain and we will just hike up that valley as far as we want and there's so many big rocks here in this valley it looks almost like scandinavia to me and yeah we will see what we can find here
I don't want to go to Alaska anymore. I don't know how naked and afraid in Alaska could be naked in Alaska, but well, don't be naked in Alaska. I found the rabbit hole. I think it's a sign you you like that. Thank you so much for your precious time and enjoying this adventure with me. If you can't wait to see how this journey will continue, you can get instant early access to the next episode on my Patreon page. This project is only possible through your support on Patreon. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.